All right, we back. We in this. I got my espresso. Glanthus, I'm not making you one. I've done enough labor for today. I've done a sufficient amount of coffee labor. My wife made me make her one. <laughs> Damn two candy emote. Love it. Love it. Anyway. All right, hold up. I gotta change one setting real quick, and then we good to go. Uh, lap. Boom, bop, pow. All right, we in this. Let's do it. You make excellent coffee. I'm aware. Come on, so you can pop up so you can video game. That's right. <laughs> Um, you heard it here, folks. I make great coffee. Now, I've been on a, um, we had an espresso machine that's, like, decent. I won't say mediocre, and I won't say good, but it's decent, that we got as a wedding gift. And, um, it's good enough to, like, learn on how to make a good espresso, but, like, some of the equipment it comes with caps you for making good espresso. And so I bought a couple things, you know, little cheap things here and there that make it possible to make good espresso with that machine. And it's a learning curve, but I've been doing it. Got a good latte here. All right. Uh, where the fuck were we? I do not remember at all. Um, we were, I named it Diddy Kong. It's a level 20. I'm not sure how comfortable I am with using that just yet. I'm wondering, the thing is, this is the normal type gym and it's fighting type when it evolves into Monferno. So it might be beneficial to, can we level up Jack the stream please? Lanthus asks. Um, okay, for you, but not right now. <laughs> At some point in the stream, yes, I promise. Um, you know what? Fuck it. We can do it now. Why not? If we're going to do that, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the sound in the game because I'm going to go in fast mode and you don't want to hear that. And I'll put some tunes in the background. Let me turn on fast mode. Let me put some tunes. Where are the tunes? Give me the tunes. Yeah, there we go. Tunes. Samurai. <laughs> yeah, we gotta level up Jack to be the samurai. Fair enough. Fair point. Let me do that. Uh, let me fucking do that. It evolves at level 20, so I'm not gonna use it in battle, but I will start leveling it up at least. Just for you. Just for you. I think we'll put it here on the team. We'll level up these two at really high speed here. With some low five beats, baby. Samurai Jack. I mean, yeah, naming naming a Kabutops Jack is like on point AF for sure. I kind of want that A run on my team though. Yeah, yeah. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Mega Man's like super high level. Let me switch up Mega Man for the A run. A with the A run. Philanthus says, "See, this is user interaction. You're doing it. I'm doing it." I'm succeeding! It's working! Look at me, Ma. Look at me now. Look at me now. Look at me now. I'm getting paper. Alright. We don't get paper from... from, uh... Wild Battles, for the record. That is not how we make money. Unfortunately. But, it is how we grind up the Pokémon. Um, what do I want to send against this? Probably, yep. Oh, that went poorly. Uh, faint attack. The world of Pokemon seems to have a robust economy. Most are employed. Yeah. And free healthcare. For Pokemon, I met Matt, might add. I wonder, like, what they do for humans. Oh, shit. Yeah, we want that Monferno. Because we want fighting type the next gym for sure. Do you know any fighting type moves? 
Oh god. Summary. Uh, nope. We gotta get you to learn some fire type moves. I'm gonna run back to the Pokemon Center just because poison is not good. Poison's a bad thing. <laughs> Most are employed. Free healthcare. You can just kind of like fuck off with a Pokemon as a 10 year old. <laughs> Do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> Don't know if that's good or bad. That part might be bad. Uh, <laughs> that, part, that part might not be ideal. Hey, mom, I'm 10. Bye. <laughs> Later. See you never. Whoops, there we go. Yeah, yeah, here, weapon. Here, here, 10 year old. Take this weapon of mass destruction. Yeah, like, here's a thing that can destroy homes. Have fun. Like, if Pokemon were real, there wouldn't be, like, no buildings. Like, people would just be. I don't know. Humans are like a very cooperative species, so maybe I'm wrong. But, yeah, I don't think it would go well. I feel like people would just fuck shit up. I'm gonna turn up the Spotify just a smidge here. A smidgen. That didn't really do much. How about there? Okay. Well, so I'm grinding this Monferno up, and you wanted me, Philanthus, you wanted me to level up the Kabuto, so I am. But, uh, yeah, I want to grind up just a little bit Diddy Kong, the Monferno here, to learn some fighting type moves, because the gym is a normal type of gym. And so, this will be handy. This will be handy. Fighting is strong against normal. Um, but I'll grind just a little bit. I won't grind a ton. And then we can just kind of start battling the trainers in the gym, I think. I think that will work pretty well here. I'm going to actually put jack in the front here start getting some exp oh god so fast everything moving so fast all right there is a normal type there is yeah philanthus there is a normal type correct normal type um let's see resist ghosts weak to fighting i think that's it let's see let's uh just regular ass just regular ass type um weak normal you do it in chat, just, yep, and then it, I think it just resists. Yeah, it doesn't resist anything, but it is, um, it receives no damage from, it's immune to, uh, ghost type. How do you look up, um, not resistances, but, like, neutral damage? Or, uh, Shisa. How does this bot work? Immune? Maybe that's the word? Nope. Doesn't have immune either. Oh well. I'll just have to know immunities. Which I do. Anywho. Uh, yeah, this is where we switch out. Amnesia. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the, the premise of this <laughs> this world is like, hey, child, go with a, like, a wild animal. Go fuck shit up. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. Here you go. Look at the little Kabuto running behind. Look at that. That's so cute. It looks like a turd with eyes, but cute. And, like, a weird butt. I mean, they're meant to look like horseshoe crabs, so they, they really killed it on that one. Wow, that's so weird. I love it, though. Got a weird little butt. Cutie Pie, indeed. I should have named it Cutie Pie, but Jack is more of an epic name, that's for sure. I wonder, can I make this ROM move faster? This feels like normal speed for some reason, but it's, I know it's not.
that didn't really help. Oh, it's a little faster. Horseshoe crabs are kind of wild when you think about them. Yeah, they're literally, yeah, horseshoe crabs are like one of the few prehistoric creatures that still exist. Um, they're fascinating. They're really weird. They're one of the oldest animals on the planet that are like, you know, not extinct, right? They have lived the longest period of time. And also what's wild about them is, you may have seen this, um, the medical industry literally gathers up like thousands of them a year to bleed them for their blood. And a lot of them die in the process. Um, not a majority, but like a decent amount of them. And they try to release them and not hurt them, but a lot of them invariably are, you know, harmed to the point of dying. And the reason that they, they pull the blood out of them is their blood has this, this, um, it's not like a coagulant, but it has something to do with, um, being used in vaccines and stuff to test if vaccines are spoiled or something like that. Like their blood, the way it works is when there's an invasion, the blood coagulates around the germ or virus in question. And so they use it to test if vaccines and stuff have gone bad or something like that. It's something like that. I'm paraphrasing it poorly, but anyway, yeah, they bleed thousands of horseshoe crabs a year. If you look it up, it's wild. Their blood is blue. Um, and they like bend them such that they're not breaking them, but it looks like they are. They bend them to like inject them with a needle and bleed them. And then they throw them back in the ocean and a lot of them die in the process. It's kind of fucked. Um, it's pretty wild. Yeah, and they're mostly unchanged. They're basically the same goddamn creature they've always been. It's pretty fucking crazy. They're fucking weird. Um, and I, I saw recently that there is a like artificial version of their blood that um i don't know if it's affordable yet but it's starting to become used instead of their blood because it's kind of inhumane as shit to use their blood the way we do um yeah man if you look up horseshoe crab blood you'll see it's like a bluish purple almost i mean shit let's do it right now Fuck it. this is the content that we want right here um all right so Horseshoe, how the fuck do you spell horseshoe crab? Horseshoe crab, blood, blood. Yeah, look at this shit, it's like a fucking bright blue. They bend them and it looks like they're killing them when they do it, but apparently they're not. But they're basically bending their tail in half. Maybe they are hurting them and that's why they die, a lot of them. I have no fucking clue. It's pretty wild though, look at that bright blue, that's their blood. It's Pretty cray cray. It does. It looks like blue, blue Gatorade, bro. I dare you to drink that shit. It looks like they're straight up breaking them when they do it. It's so weird. But yeah, there's there's an artificial alternative that's starting to be like made in labs and stuff. Um, thankfully, because this is pretty fucking barbaric. But it's like also kind of necessary to check if like vaccines are good or something. I forget how it works exactly. It's fucking wild. It's pretty crazy. It does look like Gatorade, though. That's kind of gross. You got that image in my mind now. Just pound that shit like Gatorade. Oh, man, how barbaric. But it's like a necessary evil, I suppose. Uh-oh, who's poisoned? Okay, we can make it. I love the poison um, visual in this game. And the sound, it goes every time. So you know something's fucked up. <laughs> you know that a Pokemon's about to die. It's not just like, you know, <laughs> you discover that it's dead. You know something's happening. Mime Jr. What? A I these baby Pokemon are so dumb. I forgot about this one. I can maybe stay in. You try to? I don't really want to though. I don't want to risk it. We just send out a more experienced member of the team. Um, poop. What moves do you know? Nope, I thought you knew a ghost move for some reason. Uh, okay. Yeah, this is an educational channel where you will learn about the random shit that I know. Which is truly a lot of random, useless knowledge. <laughs> a lot of random, useless knowledge. I was just 
listening to the podcast I suggested to you, Philanthus, the um, Fall of Civilizations podcast, which is a fantastic history podcast. Fantastic. Grade A. Like, cream of the crop. The cream rises to the top. No. Um, but, um... I had a hankering to play Europa Universalis, which is like a history emulator, if you haven't played it in video game form. Um, uh, because I was listening to the episode, the most recent episode about the Inca Empire, and it is fascinating. Fascinating. Like, for instance, I know that Peru and that part of the world is known for having, uh, like, literally hundreds of varieties of corn and potato. But I did not know that the reason they have so many varieties of corn and potato are because the, uh, not the Inca, but like the people who started civilization in the mountains before them, the Wari and the previous civilizations, built like terrace farming systems in the mountains because naturally it's hard to grow shit in the mountains. And these and they like brought up topsoil from like, you know, below the mountain ranges to grow shit. And they built these terraces. And um, some of the terraces, like there's one site that they just discovered some of the terraces are like little like labs basically um by that i mean like you know it's a little bowl in like a valley and so like it catches different temperatures at different layers of the terrace and the idea of this lab was literally to acclimate um like sweet potato and uh yucca and corn and potatoes that were used to like lowlands you know like regular ass elevations to that elevation and in each of these little terraces in this little lab they had different climates and they basically hybridized the shit out of all these plants in these little labs and then from there distributed the new hybrids that would survive in the mountains which is why there's hundreds of varieties of corn and potato in you know the andes uh it's wild it's wild crazy shit it's super cool when I found that out, I was like, that's insane. Anyway, so like listening to that episode made me really want to play Europa Universalis. There's an achievement that you can get as the Inca Empire that's really hard. And I was like, oh, that might be really fun. That might be super fun. Yeah, the terrace farming, I mean, like the places that are known for it, I didn't know. So I guess they're not known for it, even though they should be, are the Incas, but then also like East Asian terrace farming is very very famous what the, the way that they did it in asia though is is a i mean it still is terrorist farming but it is a completely different like manifestation of it because that was more in the spirit of uh should i stay in on this i'm gonna go with no um that was more in the spirit of uh in east asia to like trickle down water for rice also, fun fact, rice is one of the few plants, I think it's the only grain, that can grow, germinate into a, like, uh, adolescent plant, completely submerged underwater, right? Which is why those terrace farm rice patties exist. Because um, it's a good way to kill, like, competing weeds and shit and grow your rice. Um, fascinating. Yeah, so in East Asia, it's almost always, like, rice-focused. The terrace farming whereas in the mountains of peru it was very um it was used to basically like hold in heat during the night because it gets very cold in the mountains to keep them from freezing and stuff um amongst other things i'm just i'm oversimplifying it a lot <laughs> but yeah it's wild i don't know what pokemon i'm sending out against this maybe i'll stay in let's see uh, sure. Did nothing. Uh, I'm gonna switch out, dude. To what, though? Your fairy type? Oh, I have a steel type right there. Let me think. Let me use my brain. Yeah, but I would highly recommend anyone listening to my voice, if you're a history person, check out that Fall of Civilizations podcast. It's fantastic. Philanthus, the ones I suggested you are the ones that I didn't know anything about. Like, for instance, the Khmer Empire. Um, just a, like, no spoilers bit on that. Um, the Khmer Empire, what, you know, Cambodian Khmer is, like, the name of their ethnicity and their language. Um, 
The Khmer Empire was a like multi-religious empire that was Cambodian. Um, and the capital is, you know, Angkor Wat is the temple of what, what once was the city of Angkor. And Angkor was the capital. And fun fact, in like sometime in the 1400s, at the height of the empire, Angkor... <laughs> Angkor? <laughs> Angkor, no, uh, Angkor, <laughs> Angkor was uh, literally the most populous city in the world at the height of its empire, sometime in the 1400s, like 1420s, I want to say, somewhere around then. Boo, fuck you. That was a good joke. <laughs> Don't boo me. <laughs> Get him out of here. Get him out of here. But yeah, that's fascinating. There's a lot of shit like that. They tell the real story of um, Easter Island, or uh, what's the name? Rapa Nui is the indigenous name. And fun fact, despite what like Jared Diamond and others would have you believe, there have been humans living on Easter Island this whole time. It has not been unpopulated ever. There's always been people on it. Uh, so that whole like Jared Diamond narrative about what happened in Easter Island is total bullshit and they debunk it and then talk about what actually happened so that the civilization there like collapsed super quickly actually that one's really great that one's really good actually um, there's one about Greenland Vikings which I didn't know about he sounds shitty who sounds shitty Oh shit, I gotta switch out on this. Oh yeah, Jared Diamond sucks, dude. He's the guy that wrote the Guns, Germ, and Steel book. It's, he's like a pop historian. He's not a real historian. Guns, Germs, and Steel, and then... I actually have a copy of it because I bought it in high school and I never read it. I just skimmed through it. Um, he wrote also a book called Collapse, in which he... I mean, to be fair, he was arguing that, like climate change caused by people on in their civilizations what caused civilization to collapse so it was like a pro <laughs> you know stop climate change book so i'm okay with the agenda but the book itself was like ahistorical as fuck and one of the things in the book is that like the people of easter island over cut down their trees to use as canoes and to um roll the easter island heads out and because they cut all the trees out, then they, they lost the topsoil, and they lost the topsoil, they couldn't grow, and so the civilization collapsed. And they were arguing, or he's arguing, that's what led that civilization to collapse, is human fucking up the environment. Uh, and it, that's been proven to be absolutely false. So like, while his agenda is arguably good, you know, trying to like convince people that Changing our environments without knowing what we're doing is bad, which is, is true. Uh, the stuff that he was asserting in the book, for the most part, was not historically accurate. So historians are like, fuck this guy. <laughs> like anyone who's like actually studied anthropology or history is like, yeah, he's just wrong. And like pop historians think that his assertions are correct. <laughs> They're not at all. Philantha says, always am skeptical of pop historians. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Not to talk shit, but, um... I mean, he does good work, but I feel like Dan Carlin kind of falls into that category, to be honest. Um, I still listen to him from time to time, but I do find him grading in that sense. I think he sources things well. But, I don't know, he's kind of a pop historian to me, too. Palantha says, because history is full of nuance and context, doesn't make for great entertainment always. Yeah, I think the Fall of Civilizations podcast does a good job of towing that line. Oh my god, paralyzation. Gotta love it. Come on, kill him. Kill him, buddy. Okay, good. Hell yeah. Uh, sand attack? Sure. Leer? Why not? We're leveling up Jack, are you happy? Are you happy? 
Uh, do I need to go heal? Nah, dude. Yeah, Dan Carlin, I mean, like, I don't want to shit. I know people love him and the history stuff he does. My issue with him is, one, he always is, is like, well, I'm not a historian, but uh, some would say blah, blah, blah. And it's like, dude, you are playing the role of a pop historian, at least right now. Like, your podcast is literally called Hardcore History. Like, come on, dude. You're you're kind of playing the role of a historian, and this is like cop out for asserting shit <laughs> as a historian, at least in the pop culture sense. Oh, I'm not a historian, but blah blah blah. That's one of my things that annoys me. Yeah, exactly. He's having it both ways. Correct, Philanthus. It's like, dude, yeah, you're playing the role of a fucking historian right now. We're interpreting history and interpreting what other historians say. But uh, I mean, I don't know. Sometimes this stuff is interesting and it's fine, but. He also just has, like, I take issue with, like, and he absolutely falls into this, like, dude culture around history, which is to say that, like, whenever a dude tells you they're into history, 80 to 90% of the time, they just really like World War II and or war history. And it's like, dude, th that is really weird. And there's so much more to history than just war and like destruct like there's a lot more dude like a lot but it's always they're always in the fucking world war ii and it's like okay yeah that is actually a genuinely interesting period of history but there's more to history than war dude yeah it happens all the time philanthus says too accurate yeah it's really fucking annoying too and they don't even, like, they focus on, like, the war aspect of World War II, not the, like, Nazis coming to power and how to not not do that again. <laughs> they don't focus or like, you know, Neville Chamberlain and all that shit. Uh, anyway. Yeah, it's always World War II. It's like, there's more to history, man. There's so much more to history. Bullet seed, why not? Philanthus says, people forget Hitler was a tremendous dumbass. Yes, which my friends point out who overruled his generals all the time. Good thing. Yes, because his generals were smarter than him. Like, my friends constantly point out, like, I'm always like, God, like, Trumpism and, like, the right right now is just dumb fascism. And then my friends will point that out to me and be like, well, Hitler was not smart. And fascism, like, Mussolini wasn't either. And fascists were always kind of dum-dums and it's like okay yeah fair enough so i guess it's just regular fascism <laughs> if it fits the other criteria we'll call it uh proto-fascist that's what i would label the resurgent right wing <laughs> you almost have to be dumb philanthropist yeah it's kind of like a requisite <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, exactly. He said to deliver the lines that they were saying convincingly. It's like, yeah, you have to like talk about a cabal of globalists, they say nowadays, and back then they just said what they meant, just Jews. But like, you, yeah, to believe that shit, you kind of, maybe not the brightest crayon in the box. <laughs> not the sharpest tool in the shed. It's funny, I have this conversation like several times a week with people right now just because it's kind of like the topic du jour, but it's like, there's, uh, we've coded the language slightly. Yeah, exactly. It's, there's more dog whistles now. But um, it's interesting that there's a lot of people who fall for these conspiracy theories, a lot of which are just like, you know, neo or proto-fascist shit in different clothing, but... The core, the core of the, how does a water type Pokemon not have a water type move? If you have a grass move though, that's good. Um, like, these people fall for these conspiracies that explain like who is fucking up society and who is fucking them. Because like, they, you know, they do, people don't have power and there is someone fucking them in society, you know. It's just like the real explanation of it's rich people controlling society and your government and shit is boring <laughs> and also doesn't get propagated as much as it needs to and so you know they fall for any old fucking crazy flat earth bullshit they hear you know 
It's like, no, it's as simple as you are correct. You are being screwed by, by the people who have the power. And the people who have the power aren't Democrats running a pedophile ring out of a pizza shop. They're the Koch brothers and Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk. Those, those are the people that you need to go after, but... But nah, they'll go off. They'll go after this, like, whole, the whole Q thing is insane. Talk about, like, you gotta be dumb to believe it. It's wild. <laughs> and it's one of those things where, like... You know, my mom's cult was always like, uh, am I burned or poisoned? I'm poisoned. My mom's cult was, you know, always kind of like dooms, trying to get into the habit of doomsday predicting. Not consistently, but like some people would try to do it within the congregation. Um, some of the leaders did maybe once or twice. And then like be, when the world didn't end, they just stopped doing that. <laughs> but like, it's the same shit with Q. Q's like, Q Anon, they're like, oh my god, Q's gonna drop the stuff this week, and the, the pedophiles are gonna be arrested this week, and it doesn't happen, and they keep believing. It's ridiculous. Uh, Philanthus says, what I've learned reading about Q a bit is that it's sort of an AR game. <laughs> Some Pokemon Go elements doing quote-unquote research. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's... It's definitely augmented reality, that's for damn sure. That's for damn... Go do your own research. Go listen to some nut job on YouTube. <laughs> Talk about some random shit. Oh, God. Instead, they could just read Karl Marx and they would know everything about the oppressions in society and why they don't have power. Anyway. <laughs> oh, God. It's so weird, man. The Q stuff. It's so weird. This music's chill as fuck. I'm digging it. <laughs> Got that royalty-free Spotify playlist. That open license, what up? Uh, this is what we want, this is what we want. Okay, okay. But yeah, yeah, I don't know, man. Like, not this shit on Dan Carlin, but that whole dude history, I'm obsessed with war thing. I mean, that's literally, he like majored history and focused on war. And this podcast has been almost exclusively about war for like the last five years, so it's kind of... It gets fucking grating, to be frank. Um, do I want to keep going? I kind of don't. But I kind of want the experience. Do I have a regular potion? Nope. Hmm... Good. Good. I won that bet. Flintha says, so never really got into him because I didn't care for his voice. <laughs> his voice is like, it's really, it's very like raspy and, you know, he's a, uh, well, folks, look, I don't want to say I told you so, but like when Trump won, he was talking about that. I remember his voice is really annoying. And look, look, I'm not saying that I'm always right. But it's really fucking weird. It's like he's doing a Clint Clint Eastwood impression or something the whole time. Did I say his name right? Clint Eastwood? Yeah. What what is it? I highlighted it with my impression. Go on. He sounds like Rush Limbaugh kinda. Of. Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's true. It's weird. It's a weird voice. Yeah, folks, you know, <laughs> it's, it's, it's real like garbly, like really weird fucking voice. And I've enjoyed some of his content, but it's, I'm so tired of like the dude bro war history shit, man. I'm so tired of it. That's why Fall of Civilizations, I mean, some of it has like battles in it, but it focuses when 
it's a team of people, but the host, when I say Guy, I mean the host. Guy does the intro, and he introduces the civilization in question that's collapsing from prehistory all the way to, you know, the moment of collapse in history. And so you learn a lot about the culture and history and the beginnings of the civilization in question, which is fascinating. I am more interested in that shit or like the surrounding social dynamics and like how society worked. Um, yeah, stuff like that. I found, I find that to be super fascinating. Like the, the bit I said earlier about the corn and potatoes and the Incas were able to hybridize foods. That's wild. I want to learn about that. That's cool as shit. That's super cool. That's that's my type of history. Basically anthropology. <laughs> anthropology is my kind of history. Do I have my chapstick? I need it. I need to stop picking up my lips. That time of year. We got caught hard in the snowstorm. I know it was hitting the East Coast recently. We got hit pretty hard though. Uh, what do I want to send out? Grass type. Yeah, yeah, Philanth is asking if we got a lot of snow. We, last week, <laughs> usually if there's a big snowstorm here in Chicago, it hits the Northeast like three days, two days later, <laughs> which is what happened. So yeah, there's a fuck ton of snow outside that won't melt and it becomes that weird like sandy, muddy type shit that's just everywhere. So yeah, we're kind of, a lot of people are snowed in. I saw some lady, it was really coming down Friday through Sunday and Saturday night we had some friends over and we have like these friends that are just are like COVID friends where we see them, only them and they only see us and we just hang out and do dinner and stuff. And they came over Saturday. It is calamity again in snow. <laughs> it was coming down Saturday. And there was a woman at like midnight or one trying to park out front in the street, parallel park. And there were like two or three cars behind her on our street. It's a small residential street. Um, you know, everyone's double parked. Or sorry, everyone's just regular parked along the side. So there's only enough space for one car. And um, yeah, so this lady... <laughs> Is trying to parallel park in front of our house or our apartment and she's literally you can tell she's never lived somewhere with the snow because she was literally in her like uggs going around her car and like going like this with her foot just like sweeping back and forth with her foot like trying to like as if you were sweeping with a broom and we were all like it that's not gonna work that's not gonna do anything what are you doing lady and she like it took her a good 10 minutes to get into the spot because she kept spinning out on her front wheel drive car. Um, yeah, it was, it was, it was like drunk entertainment. We were in the middle of playing Beat Saber and then we were all like, hold up, we got to watch this lady hit someone else's car, which she didn't thankfully, but she came real damn close and it kept spinning out the wheels on her car. She just kept sweeping the snow back and forth. And we were like, that's not how snow works. I can tell you're not from... <laughs> Somewhere with snow. That's not how it works at all. <laughs> Let me just move it around a little bit and then that'll help get traction. <laughs> that was really funny. Not gonna lie. It's one of those things where like everyone who lives here should just in case have like the chains for their tires. The snow chains. Tire chains. Because like you're probably gonna need it at some point. So just in case. In places like Colorado, they're like required on your car in the winter. It's like mandatory. Cause it's like a public hazard if not everyone has them and they start crashing everywhere. And they're relatively cheap and easy to apply to the, to the wheels, to the tires. So like, there's no reason not to get the chains. But yeah, that was funny as fuck. So yeah, long story short, we had a lot of snow. And then um, during the day it melts and it keeps falling off our roof. So I watch it go past our patio window sometimes and it looks like a like a body has been dropped from our roof. It's really scary. Uh, yeah, and then um, a lot of the drip 
the snow drip from the roof freezes on our deck out here, our like stairway, our wooden stairway. So it's just covered in icicles and ice. It looks really cool, but it makes it really dangerous to walk the dog in the morning. <laughs> I'll tell you what, makes it real dangerous. It's pretty though. I'll say that much in its favor. Sex -a cute. <laughs> Uh, what do I want to do here? I'm tired of... I feel like I should level up some other Pokemon in my box. Where am I at? Alright, let's put... We need Diddy Kong higher. We can worry about Jack later. I satisfied the viewer... <laughs> the viewer requisite of leveling up Jack. It's been done. It has been done. Uh, this is a bad type matchup. Hmm. Yeah. He evolves- it's so, okay, okay, Philanthus. He evolves at level 40. That's not happening on this stream. For sure. But, yeah, every little bit gets closer. Actually, I can stay in on this one. Uh, flame wheel. <laughs> Look at that. Epic. Pog. Let's go. God, I need to stop writing my lips. Don't do it. No. I just do it out of habit. We all do. Oh, wait. Why did I stay in on this? I should switch out. Uh, hoo ha ha ha. Shark bait. Hoo ha ha. Oh, fuck. Jesus. Did not anticipate that one. Shit. Get me out of here. I want to go heal. All right. I'm wondering if I really want here let me see learn set of mono fern uh learn set mono fern I think I spelled that correctly there we go um it's that level 22 right now oh god damn it dude mock punch was at 14 I could have used that uh mock punch would be sweet right now Where's the move tutor in this game? I could use a move tutor very badly. It's weird that the modder did not take these out of the game. Bizarre. I'm wondering here, let me look it up real quick, see if there's a move relearn it. Because if I can get it to relearn uh, Mach Punch, that would be epic. Storm Silver move relearner. Um, well, let me see where it is in the base game. God damn it. <laughs> a different city, of course. Black Fun, that's like one of the last cities. Um, is there a move relearner? Nope, this is just for the regular games. This is the problem with playing a fan modded game. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Storm Silver, specifically, in quotes. So I am a search engine whiz. That didn't help. You're kidding. There we go. Okay, let's see. Northern end of Cyan Wood? I don't think I'm anywhere near that city yet. I don't think I can get there. That's unfortunate. There's my map on me. Is this Cyan Wood? Yeah, damn it. I thought so. I thought so. 
Damn it all to hell. Oh well. So I guess Monferno's not gonna learn a fighting type move. In that case, I'm gonna have to rethink my lineup here. And I might as well just start going into the gym. I probably want to save Monferno too. I don't want it to get like wrecked. That's what I mean. Uh, party Pokemon. All right, so hold on. We want, I know I want this Pokemon on my team. Mega Man for sure, for sure. I know, just saw Andrea and got COVID. Oh no. <laughs> Mr. doesn't know what a bodega is. Jesus Christ. That's what happens when he's do out here doing all these goddamn promos for his fucking mayoral campaign. My man, my man got the COVID. Damn. That's kind of funny, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if it's rude of me, but that's kind of funny. <laughs> it's a little funny. Like a little bit, it's a little funny. <laughs> you know, it's a tiny bit funny. All right, we got a shiny drowsy that I'm not gonna use. We got that Kabuto I'm not gonna use. And all these fucking fossil Pokemon don't evolve until later in the game. That's funny that Henry Yang got COVID. I'm sorry. It's rude of me, but it's kind of funny. Uh, Inferno. Give me those stats, buddy. Um, Defense and special defense are not great. Blaze or Iron Fist? What does Iron Fist do? Oh man, strength punch based moves and I don't have mock punch because they gave it to me at level 20. And it learns it at 14. God damn it, dude. I would love mock punch. That means it adds a 1.2 modifier. Ah, oh, son of a fucking fuck. That's so unfortunate. Um All right, I think this is the team we're gonna fight Whitney with. I might put Rule Bender up front. We'll see. This is the baby. This is the team. All right, where the fuck is the gym? It's over here, right? Yeah. Uh oh, you're gonna keep me from going in. Went flying by saying, "I have." To go get a radio card. Uh oh. Is this the whole fucking Team Rocket bullshit? About to see. Oh, there she is. Whitney, hi, my name is Whitney. <laughs> <laughs> it said Whitney colon. Hi, my name's Whitney. Like, yeah, context clues, dude. You did that was, that was so redundant. Uh, this fucking game, dude. I heard about the quiz to win a radio card, so I came over to get one. But this quiz is so hard. Are you gonna let me do it or not? Like wearing a name card. Hi, my name's. Yeah, I saw, dude. Thanks. That's funny. All right, here, hit me with the questions. First question: Can you check the town map with your Poke Gear? Yeah. Need arena can only be female. True? Yeah. You're correct. Third question. Kurt, the Pokeball creator, uses apricots as ingredients. Uh, apricorns, so no. You're correct. The fourth question. It's impossible to use a TM on Magikarp. True? Yes. Okay, good. Wow, I only have one more question to go. In Professor Oak's popular show, Pokemon Talk, is he on with Marie? I have no idea. Yes? Fuck. No. The answer is no. I gotta do it again. When you load her into Poke Gear, you'll be able to listen to the radio anytime, anywhere. Would you like to try our quiz? First question. Can you check the town map? Yes. You're correct. Second question. Need a ring? Can only be female? Yes. Third question. No. Impossible to use TM? Yes. No. 
Bingo, you got it. Congratulations. Here's your prize. A radio card. Tech you can now blah, 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 blah. And she's like, what? You did it. I thought the answer to the third question was surely apricots. Oops. It's time to go back to the gym. Wow. So much exposition just for, for a damn radio. Let's turn the sound back on. Let me see. So we can hear the radio. Nice. Got that OG sound. Okay, let's go to the radio. Forgot about this thing. The hell? Oh, you gotta like move it around? This is bizarre, dude. Does DJ Ben bring you the Pokemon music channel today? Your Pokemon to sleep with a soothing Pokemon lullaby. What the fuck, dude? Here's leading professor, expert on Pokemon, Professor Oak, and of course myself, Mary, Professor Oak. Solrock may be seen around Bell Tower. Mary, Solrock. You won't be able to resist, you'll be able to make a great friend. What? <laughs> Wish Cash, if you likely poke it and see it, will never cease to amaze you. What? Excuse me? Mary, Poliwhirl. When you first see them, you'll think it's so wonderful. What the fuck, dude? What is this dialogue? Zigzagoon. There's no reason for it, but you'll feel so strange. What the f This is the weirdest dialogue. Puchiana may be seen around National Park. Puchiana. Whether you see them above or below, you won't be able to stop laughing. What? Pokemon Pokemon. Pokemon Channel. What the fuck, dude? This is weird. This is super weird. I don't know what's happening. Commercial, the gentle flow of time, an ancient figure, gentle vibration, spot tower. Okay, whatever. Interesting. That's so weird, dude. That's so weird. All right, we're, we're getting out of here. Do, do, do. Let's go challenge the gym, baby. How, do I need to heal anything? Nope. All right, we're gonna lead with Ava. And I'm gonna give, do I have any berries? Nope. Great. How do I not have any fucking berries, dude? Oh, I was gonna... Before I go to the gym, I was going to try to buy some TMs. If there's any that are useful. Rooftop atrium. Yeah, I've been there. I kind of want to go there. Take me to the roof, ma'am. Okay. Is my latte done? Damn. It's a good ass latte. I toot my own horn on that one. Um, sixth floor has the rooftop atrium. Don't miss the daily drawing corner. All right. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. They give you items. Oh, I have been here. Welcome to Daily Draw. You can try it for 300. All right, fine. Take my money. Number two prize. Please take it. The repeat ball. Not worth it. <laughs> Sequel to one. Oh. If you're tired, try the vending machine drinks. Your Pokemon will love them too. Actually, though. Actually, though, these heal your Pokemon pretty well, from what I remember. Good ass latte. Oh, I see what you did there. Gal. It took me a second. Maybe I'm not the brightest tool in the. <laughs> see? <laughs> Maybe I'm not the brightest crayon in the box. There we go. If I can formulate that one correctly. Where's my damn fresh water? 50 points. Okay. 
How much does Super Potion do? Uh, Soda Pop, though? How much does this do? No, 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 more. No more. Don't lock me into buying sodas eternally, please. 60 points. Interesting. Interesting. Regular potion does 20. How much is a regular potion? I wonder if it's the same price. Should I stock up on these instead? Now I'm curious. Let me go buy TMs first. Like, shit, should I just stock up on water instead of potions? Turns out my Pokemon was dehydrated. This whole time. Uh, I don't want Flash. I don't want False Swipe. I don't have that very Nature Power, I think that's called. I forget. That's Reflect. That's the other one. User attacks at full power. It may also lower... What is this? The user attacks at full power. It may also lower the... I, I wish I could just tell you what the fucking TM was. Instead of giving you the description and not fucking telling you. TMs. Uh, soul, silver, goldenrod. Because it's so fucking annoying. Oh, this is not what I want. I don't want a list of... There we go. Is this the right... Fifth floor. Flash protect. Focus blast. I think that's what that might be. Fire Blast, Thunder, Blizzard, Hyper Beam. Do I want any of those? I don't think so. Maybe Protect. Protect might be interesting on the Aeron. Huh. Hmm, nah. Solar Beam? I don't think that's gonna help. At least not right now. Focus Blast. Maybe. I think that's what this one is. Uh, fire Blast, I don't have a fire. Well, I do have a Monferno, but I'm not going to bring it in. Focus Blast might be helpful, but I don't think any of my Pokemon can learn it anyway. I'm going to skip on these. I'm going to skip on these. What are you selling? What are you selling? Airmail? I'm good, dude. Is there anything I can sell you? I don't think so. So it'll pop. <laughs> I have way too many escape ropes. You want some of those? I mean, actually, though, if I give you like three, I mean, shit, that's money. Woodland ore. I guess that's what evolves with a nugget I could sell, obviously. It's just a nugget of gold. Here you go, dude. Um, yeah, that's probably... Now, out of curiosity, is this just the guide? Nope. Why can't you just tell me what's where? I wish you would. Uh, first floor... If potions are cheaper, or sorry, more expensive than the water, I'm a laugh. Because they do the same shit. Let me see. Is this the potion floor? Nope, this is just... Oh, maybe. Nope. Just a welcome person. Cool. Uh, that's 300 for 20 points. 750 points. So yeah, the, the water does the same thing for cheaper. Pro tip. Pro tip. So get a fuck ton of waters is what I'm hearing. Top floor. I'm gonna walk out of here, just I'm gonna clean out your vending machines. Let's go! Clean them out. Okay, okay. Uh vending machine, please. Yeah, buddy. How much does a lemonade heal? Okay. 
Oh wait, sorry, wrong. Ah, fuck. I wish the fucking trigger buttons would work. It's supposed to navigate the top part, I thought. Lemonade? 80! This is really good bang for buck. Just like in real life, I'm not gonna drink soda. But I will drink lemonade or water. It's a Zom brand. Bro, just give me a fuck ton of waters. Let's go. I'm just gonna spam... Spam this button. Alright, I'm gonna... Speed up the game. Turn off the sound. Actually, that sounds kind of cool. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not opposed to this. I'm going to clean these vending machines out. Clean them out. We're gonna have so many fucking waters. <laughs> Just walking out with a bunch of water bottles. Just give me the vending machine. Like, let let the vending machine be the following thing. I don't need a Pokemon. The vending machine should follow me around. Put a Rotom in it. Then it can follow me around. Dispense waters as my Pokemon get dehydrated in battle and heal them. It's a great, it's a great combo. Oh my god. Let me get some lemonades while I'm at it. Oh, I meant lemonade, but I got water. This is ridiculous. Well, this is what you came for, folks. The lemonade spamming portion. <laughs> right here. God, that's funny. So much water! This is way better bang for buck than the goddamn potions. Yeah! We're doing it! Getting those lemonades! <laughs> How many fucking waters do I have now? <laughs> Let me see. Oh, I'm not picking up the phone. Uh, I think I have enough. Wait, ah! That's funny, I have 26. I kinda- let me go for some lemonades, actually. That's 10. That's 11. That's 12, that should be enough. That's enough. Now, Here's the thing. What floor is this? Is this the X items? Nope, this is the TMs. Okay. Nope. X items. Should I be talking to NPCs? Yeah, this is definitely X items. Uh, hello. Now here's the thing. X attack, ooh, so they price them accordingly. I see. X defend, X direct hit. Interesting. Um. I think I'm gonna want the cheaper ones. X Defend is more expensive than X Special Defend, which is interesting. I'll buy like three of these. Maybe it'll be useful. We'll see. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Stop. No, don't bite the lips. <laughs> Hitting myself not to do it. I haven't tried the game corner yet. Game corner. Fuck around and find out. Is this the game corner? What is this?
Okay. Got my gambling case. Dude, I'm 10. You're gonna teach me how to gamble? Is this the game? Oh, God. What just happened? No, fuck this. Get me out of here. Fuck that. Uh, alright. Just like in real life, I'm shit at gambling. Um, let's just go to the gym, man. I'm more than prepared. Alright. I'm gonna put it at normal speed here. Alright. Why am I in the items menu? I want the Pokemon menu. What do we want to do here? I'm doing the typical thing of putting my lowest level first, but the thing is that this is also probably smart because it's one of my highest defensive Pokemon as well. So I have two pretty damn good defensive walls and I have two pretty damn good special defensive walls. My weakest Pokemon here is probably Miss Bear in terms of like what it offers to my team. But I brought her along just honestly in case I needed something to sack. Which I probably will. Um, damn, can't just sneak up there. Alright, well let's battle this lady first, because she's right there. Yeah, this goes. Hopefully I don't fuck up. Oh, you're a little cute trainer. I like you. I want to hold back. Okay. Weird. But uh, let's go. Whim Wismer. I always say Whimser. And that's very wrong. Uh, Weezer. Beauty of Victoria. <laughs> My alter ego. <laughs> gotta shave the beard first. Well, I mean, maybe not. Do you, I suppose. Uh, headbutt. What the fuck is up, dude? <laughs> the beard is key. That's right. The beard is Victoria. Okay. Got a Teddy Ursa. Um, headbutt, I guess. Big tears. Major key alert! Major key! Pillows. I might do an iron defense if I'm gonna stay in. Let's raise that defense real high. Let's go. Uh, nothing. Literally a minimum of 1 HP damage. It's the only reason you're doing damage to me right now, because the minimum is 1 HP. Thanks for that. Yeah, having Ava on the team is going to be a major key. Talking about major keys uh, for this gym match. For sure, for sure. Loud Red. Interesting. Ghost-type move. Ah, flinch. Get the fuck out of here. We the best user. Ooh. Not very effective, but it still did a decent amount, probably because it's special. Gotta watch out for that. <gasps> Critted, buddy! Hell yeah, dude. Snubble, stand in. Fairy type. I'm okay with that. That's fine, that's fine. Uh, let's pop off a Metal Claw. Pop it off, pop it off, pop it off. That should... yep. Okay. Lick. That should do nothing. Yep. There's the Metal Claw. Boom, baby! Takedown? Damn, girl. Uh, sure? Here's the thing. Takedown does hella damage. But it damages you a lot. I might... 
Honestly, this already does 75. This already does 70. 90 obviously is more damage, but you also are that accuracy is not ideal, nor is the recoil damage in a Nuzlocke. I am not going to learn it. Yeah, I'm going to give up on takedown. I really don't want to fuck with recoil damage in a Nuzlocke. Um, do I want to heal up? I think I do, just in case. I'm trying to be as careful as I possibly can be, honestly. So... Even if that means a boring game, I don't care. I don't... Frankly, my dear, I don't give a Oh, you're starting Dead Cells tonight, Philanthus. That's great. That game's so good. I very much enjoy it. Fantastic game. What's interesting is you pay the base uh, amount and they they still give you all the expansions and upgrades and stuff. Like I've gotten. It's been great. I was just curious. I wanted to see if I can get in. Any tips? I don't know, man. Just play it. <laughs> There's really nothing to... I mean, like, you know, you'll learn the mechanics. Rolling is pretty key. Um, uh, there are going to be weapons that you favor. I favor swords and, um, there's a whip item that you'll get eventually. Um, I mean, they're different whips, but it mostly is like an electric whip. That one's fucking great. Distance, I like distance items and swords. The double-handed ones, like the mallet and the broadsword, are not my favorite because they're slower. I like the faster, smaller swords. And, like, things like, um crossbow and uh whip and stuff like that the whip is a great one the more you play the more the better items you'll get like the more you die <laughs> the better items you'll get and stuff um so i mean yeah i have no i have no pointers really just play it you'll enjoy it it'll be great give it your best shot or i'll take you down jesus it's this lady right here is gonna end my run beauty samantha she gonna fuck me up. Okay, Meowth, I think this is fine. Just out of curiosity, I'm gonna look at the rest of the team here. Okay. Um, just three Pokemon. I might get off an Iron Defense just to help here. Oh, come on, buddy. Thank you. Thanks for acting it all out. Yeah. It's great. It's really fun. Um, it's one of those where, like, for people who are watching, like, my wife, Sadie, she's always like, it just looks like, you know, the people that do the girlfriend reviews, it just looks like a bunch of fucking, like, confetti on the screen, everything dying. It can be hard to follow if you haven't played the game, but anyone watching you will be there for your stream or for the game, so, you know, they'll know the game. They'll be familiar. Wow, one HP from killing it. That is annoying. Bye. Interesting. Yeah, I'm anticipating a specially offensive move, not a physically offensive move. Oh, might have been a bad move. Okay, we're good. Um, nice. I love landing hypnosis. Uh, Dream Eater, obviously. Mmm. Tasty dreams. Tasty, tasty dreams. 
And then... Pain attack. <laughs> nice. It's called strats, folks. It's called strats. That's what you call stratagems. Munchlax, huh? Uh, same thing. Got him, coach. Got him, coach. I said I got him, coach. Is normal type resistant to dark? I don't think. Alright, thank you, Philanthus. Uh... What am I looking up? Okay, that's what I thought. Alright, we doing it. I think I'm comfortable doing another match. I think. Anyone down here? Nope. Wait, could I have done this the whole time? Wow. Wow. I mean, whatever. I'm trying to take every match I can to level up as much as possible, but wow. Anyway, who's over here? Someone over here? Nope. Uh... Oh, I could have gone this way too. What the fuck, dude? Oh, I see. I see. Um, am I ready? Yeah, fuck it. Hello? You shouldn't let your guard down just because I don't look tough. I didn't say you didn't look tough, dude. You're the one assuming I thought that. Last carry. For it. Okay. I'm gonna pop off an iron defense here. Oh no! My man knows fire punch? Jesus Christ. The fuck, dude. Uh, let's headbutt this fool. The fuck, dude? They made this mod real hard. They gave Furret all the type punches. Get the fuck out of here. What? You lucky bastard. No. Fuck, dude. Wow. Got all those tight punches out here? Shit, dude. Okay, my other physically defensive Pokemon ain't gonna cut it right now. So. I'm gonna have to maybe hope for an unfreeze, a thawing, if you will. Go for the Metal Claw. Thunder Punch. Frozen Solid. I'm gonna wait. Uh, not very effective. Frozen Solid. Thought out. Yep. So should give her Fire Punching a frozen opponent. Ooh, we got that stat increase. I'm gonna drop a water or a super potion, maybe. Let's do a super potion. All right, all right. Oh, interesting. Okay, we gotta switch out. Hmm. Hold up. I don't think I want to stay in on this, and I think they know that I don't. Oh wait. Learn set Bibarel. 
Yeah, it has a water move. Aqua Tail. So... What do I want to switch to? doesn't have a water type move. It might be calling my bluff on that one. I already forgot what it had other than rollout. Shit. Defense curl and rollout is all I saw. It might still have a water move. We're gonna stay in. Bullet seed. Okay. Okay, I'll take that. That's not a bad amount of damage. Oh, just two, though? I won't take that. I spoke too soon. I mean, it's okay. I'm leeching this thing for a while now, anyway. Fast asleep, baby. Yep. So we got the elemental punches, we know that much. Um with the elemental punches. I'm still okay with this. I'm okay with this. Thunder punch, huh? Interesting. Crit. Look at that. Um a head what? I'm gonna do nothing. Yep. Okay, get off a headbutt. We're good. I am playing it extra safe. Eradicate. Uh an extra safe entails healing up fifty verse. 50 is the same shit, so let's just use it up, huh? Let's just use it up. Okay, Fire Fang. Elemental moves out here, dude. Fucking. Alright, stab. Yep. Oh, what the fuck is up, dude? Missed. Clutch. This Aeron is clutch, I'm telling you. Clutch. Dunsparce. What? 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 It's one of my favorite Pokemon, but it's useless. Like, it looks fun, but it's useless. They better give Dunsparce an evolution soon. Uh, Metal Claw. What a weird... 
What a weird choice, man. Glare. Okay, okay. I mean, I was already slower anyway, I thought, but no. Dunsparce went after. Um, I'm okay with being paralyzed. Honestly. Headbutt. Roll out. Should resist, right? Yeah. Nice. Uh, let's get another headbutt in. Missed. Paralyzed. Defense curl. <clears throat> I guess Dunsparce is highly defensive as well. Dunsparce. What a, like, wasted potential of a Pokemon. Just wasted potential. It looks cool. Relatively useless. Relatively useless. Nothing. Okay, 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 okay. We here, we here, we out here. Gang, gang. You thought I was weak, but I'm not. The fuck is up, buddy? Oddly designed gym. Uh, no, go down. Oh my god, I can't walk down? That's annoying. Christ. I. No, I am not picking up Falconer. What the fuck? Okay, let's just see hypothetically what he wants, because he keeps calling. You dying? Wow. Wow. Okay, thanks for that huge waste of time. Immense. Immense. Also, why is that stupid flip game the only game to play at the gambling the coin center, whatever the fuck it's called? Game corner. I want slots, man. I'm an old lady. I'll drink sherry and I want my slots. That's all I want. Slot machine! Actually, though. Alright. We out here. We out here. We got one more trainer before the the leader Whitney, I believe. That's this one. What up? I like cute Pokemon better than strong Pokemon, but I have strong and cute Pokemon. That's probably true. Let's see if that's true, though. Last Kathy Jigglypuff. I'm gonna get up an Iron Defense just in case. We outspeed the Jigglypuff somehow. Oh. I'd rather have that disabled than Metal Claw. That is for damn sure. Are you fairy type? Mmm, it would seem so. <laughs> Love to see it. Happiny. It's not a strong Pokemon. You lied. Another fairy type? If not, it went down real easy. This is definitely a fairy type. Nice. Nice. Uh, I really don't need to heal. I really don't need to heal. Should I just go for it, dude? Let me pull up her Pokemon. So I know what I'm up against here. So it's level 21 and 24. Uh, 
Okay. Um. Yeah, might as well, huh? Actually, I'll save it for next time. I'm gonna call the stream here. I'll save it for next time. Boom. Alright. Thanks for tuning in, peeps. Much appreciated. Much love. Mucho, mucho.